Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. special guest tonight please welcome back for the third time ladies and gentlemen comedian and artist gabby lamb <laughs> was that was that odd no it was great oh, you liked it no yeah. i loved it i like what's going on here with the fashion thank you that was yeah. be- honestly that kind of made me emotional Why? i didn't mean to i play the same chords i only do you do the the- C in the f chord every yeah it's really nice that's i don't my mind won't go further than that i i'm that's stuck a, with yeah. it i guess i guess an analogy would be uh if we were referring to co- comedy like yeah. just talking about like one topic or two topics your that's whole it. career. I mean, I, that's what I do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> you do? I'm stuck on the same, w- really one topic now, yeah. But I wanted to also congratulate you. How much sobriety time do you have now? Well, that's an interesting question. Yeah. Um, the last time I drank, let's see, was January 4th, 2020, but I had to s- restart my day count Yeah. in August because I got dry and then started doing mushrooms and was like, I can do mushrooms. And then I smoked weed, and I was like, okay, okay, you know what? Things got out of hand with that, and I was like... Thanks for disclosing that, because the, other, the yeah. other week, literally a couple days ago, mm-hmm. I was watching Joe Rogan, and he had like m- something McKenna, Terrence McKenna's brother, and they're talking about um, DMT and mushrooms, Kay. and then the thought entered my mind. I'm like, oh, I, c- I could do mushrooms. Because I won't get yeah. addicted. It's from the earth. It's yeah. natural. No, but yeah. that's how it starts, doesn't but it? That's how it starts. So that's exactly why I did it, right? So what did you did you microdose or what happened? So I did the first time I did them. I was really nervous to do it because I was like, I'm a sober person. I don't want to do mushrooms. Um, is that are those edibles? No, no. This is just chewing tobacco. Oh, okay, yeah, no, yeah, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I know yeah. it's not edibles. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're relapsing right now. <laughs> I'm not, I thought about it, but I'm, I'm... It's not worth it. I'll tell you that. It isn't? It's not fucking worth so it. So did you... Um, How did you obtain... I mean, you don't have to... No, I can tell. No, I can't. How did so, you how do you find mushrooms if you haven't if you're sober like So I was in a relationship and my ex had always a lot of these things on him. Okay. And so we went to Joshua Tree for a birthday, I believe, his brother's birthday. That's a good environment. It's a good environment. And I was like, Well, this is a good environment. It's like Jim Morrison, the doors going out in the desert. Like, Come on. Yeah. It's, yeah. So you get it, you like fantasize about it and you're like, Bob, but this is gonna be spiritual. Yeah. You know? I can break the rule for mm-hmm. this because it's gonna be spiritual. I'm a big experience Did blah you, blah blah what happened tell me about your trip so okay but before that i w- i was pretty dry from the program because you know i'm an we've alcoholics anonymous yeah, yeah so i was like I, i'm not judging you yeah yeah so i was dry i wasn't really going to meetings I didn't wasn't didn't have a res- relationship with a sponsor mm-hmm. or higher power whatever <laughs> you know so i was like you know what why not i'm not even working a program right now anyway i'll just do mushrooms and the trip was fun how much did you eat? Like an eighth? I or? don't even know. I couldn't even. So was it like let's let's break it down? The, uh, like maybe three caps and two stems. Maybe or something like that? Like I was also eating them th- all throughout the night. Ooh, so that changes it. Does so it changes it? <laughs> it does. And it was fun for a second. You probably ate more than you thought. I'm also on Lexapro, and so when wait, you take wait, 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 wait. it's an antidepressant. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So when gotcha. you take SSRIs, it cancels out. Yeah. Psilocybin. It does. That's, that's yes, interesting. It is. Can you, um, can you write that down? Uh, that down. Uh, SSRI, uh, psilocybin, yeah. canceling it out. Canceling that's it interesting. Out. It's a thing. Okay, so it kind of. So that's why you had to eat. So more. I kept eating more because I was like, well, <sighs> I'm not really feeling anything, so I'm eating all these mushrooms. Fun for one second. I always end up having a terrible trip in the end. In what ways do you see like demons or something? It's not even that I see demons. I get stuck in this loop of like, I'm never gonna get out of this. Then I had like convinced myself that I was drunk and I was like, oh no, I'm wasted. I wasn't, I hadn't had a drink in almost three years, Mm -hmm. but for some reason on mushrooms, I was like, I must be drunk. 
Right. And then it got scary. And then I'm just in this place Wait, of like. You, so you got you got paranoid. Got paranoid. Then do I'm like see, fear spiraling. Do you see any demonic faces in the sand? No demonic faces. Um, no scary visuals. No, nothing in the clouds. Nothing in the clouds. It's all in your head. All in my head. Damn, that would have been nice to see some things. You'd think. Well, you know what I did see that was, you know, how everything gets like a little bit more vibrant. Like I was out in nature, and it was just yeah. like the trees were extra alive. Right. And that was beautiful. Mm. And I was like, that that feels nice. You're like more. So you feel were, more connected. Were they breathing kind of like that movie they, midsummer and they summer. kind of yeah, were yeah. they mm-hmm. were breathing they were breathing um and was it nighttime they in the daytime started in the day went until the night was there a bonfire a fire involved at night no like s'mores or no, anything? no no <laughs> no none of and that. so well you know what you got through it i so, mean okay so that like, was at one time right oh, yeah and i was like okay this is great then it turned into a thing where i was like well i already did the mushrooms so i might as well like every time i go out now just like take mushrooms to feel like good micro, like microdose but like eating mushrooms so like actually but you have shows to do you have podcasts to do yeah but you know there so were you, nights could, where you could perform no oh. no i would do it when i didn't have shows like i would if i went out that'd for, be interesting though wouldn't it would never do that i think theo vaughn has a set where he's on my he, i heard it was fantastic but how, like, what, you need the, men- how do you get the mental capacity? I don't know. Theo's also a fucking from another planet. He yeah, can do that. What? He could probably put up the wall and just do it. I can't do that. I'm too fragile. You're, you're vulnerable, sensitive people. Couldn't yeah, do it. Yeah. Too self-conscious. Yeah, too, mm-hmm. too heady You're in your head. Too heady. Theo, well, yeah, I don't know what's we, going on there. We love you, Theo. Good love job. you, Theo. You're doing great. <laughs> Good job, yeah. K- killing life. Right yeah, we now. love to yeah. see it. <laughs> but, yeah, no, so then I'm like, and then I find myself going out, taking them more and more, and then like sitting at home with my boy ex-boyfriend, mm-hmm. we're taking them, and I'm like, you know, this goes on for like three months. And then I'm, I'm like, what, what am I doing? Why am I now just like sitting around taking mushrooms? Not even for a spiritual experience, but just to I, feel fucked up. I kind of don't like the way you're describing your ex. I kind of don't like him. Well, yeah. So the reason being is, yeah. because, dude, if he was really supportive of your shit, mm-hmm. he'd be like, maybe that's not a good idea. Especially him knowing that you want to get sober. That I'm dude. a sober person. Come on, dude. So, you know, can I just say shame on you? So, well, OK, so the trick. Thing. Say his name. We won't say his but, name. Uh, let me give him a message. Yeah. He probably won't watch this. He might. He probably know. will. He probably will. Yeah. <laughs> he probably will. And I probably will. All right. But shame on you, man. Well, here's the thing. And but it, not, I'm not. I didn't say it in a mean way. No, I know. But I hope he he learns from this and says, "Hey, come right. on." Well, in his uh, so I'll say in his defense, and not to defend him at all, but in his are you defend? Are you about to defend? No, him no. But right I'm now? gonna say that I I was like, you know, I was like, no, I'm good. You know, as an addict, you want to fucking have things work in your way. So I was like. I'm good. And he's like, well, if you think you're good, you're probably good. Right. And I was like, I'm probably good. And so he well, was like, you know what? All yeah, right, I take that back. Um, <laughs> Because you, ap- it was your decision. It was my decision. And it's not like he like shoved him down. No, he wasn't like, come on, do him. He just yeah. had him. And then I was like, I can do it. And he's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, I'm sure. Would have it would it have been weirder if he was the other guy? Like, no, absolutely not. And like, put like that would have frustrated me. Put the brakes on it. Yeah. See, okay. it's oh, like right, that right. would have so annoyed me. Yeah, he kind of gave you because you're an adult. He, he yeah. was. He's an. He, he knows I'm an adult, so yeah, he kind of yeah, let yeah. me. You know, choose my own path. But All right. It, so I could see his point. He's, it, right. At least he wasn't like. Completely, like, with no empathy. No, and he wasn't he like, was you got to do these. He, no, he didn't peer pressure you. He didn't. All no. right, so I take, I take that back. Yeah. Right. No, there yeah. was, yeah, so that that was on me. Mm-hmm. And then what happened, uh, then did it uh, progress into something else? You so then I'm, then I'm or? going, then I'm going, you know what, while we're here, might as well do Molly. So then I this did. This is a Joshua Tree still? No, 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 no. This, oh, this is, is after the this Joshua is after Tree. Joshua Tree. Okay, gotcha, this gotcha. is in, you know, like a month or two after. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I'm like, you know what, I'm. I'm fine. I could probably do Molly. Molly doesn't work because I'm on SSRIs. Again, the Lexapro cancels out the Molly. So so was this was there like a, a concert involved or no, of a course special not. occasion? Dive bar. I'm at a dive bar. <laughs> okay, so- I'm at a dive. I'm at Gold Diggers. You're at a dive. Okay. I'm at a dive bar. Oh. And one of the times I'm at a park in the middle of the day at a and friend's oh birthday. Oh, my goodness. And I'm gumming Molly. Were you, were you drinking beers at least? Or? Oh, no, no. Because I, I haven't drank. It's just Molly. Okay. So yeah, I would have. If I 
if I did that, I would just be like, all right, like, no, just I give me a beer. So I didn't. So yeah. I was very clear on not drinking. I was like, yeah. well, as long as I don't drink, I'm still That's sober. How your brain tricks, you're, you could trick yourself. Right. As yeah. long as I'm not drinking or doing coke, I'm still sober. See right. That works. It's yes. Kinda, yeah. It it's tricky. Comes in different outfits and it does disguises. wearing different hats. All in, all in the meanwhile, I'm like, okay, I know at this point now I'm avoiding AA because if I go to AA, I'm going to have to be honest. And I don't want to be honest. You know, that, that's, hey, man, thanks for saying that. Because it's, that's, that's hard. what it's all about. You right. Know? It's all, so I wasn't ready to be honest. Yeah, so I well, stayed you know, out. And then you, no one could force anyone to get sober again. I know. know. And it took a long time. Honestly, only up, uh, as of very recently have I really started like acknowledging it that there was a relapse. Because right. I didn't want to call it a relapse because I didn't drink or do coke. Right, but it was I was taking mind altering that substances. Weird how the, you could justify. It? So yeah. it's so, wild. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. It's wild. Um, did you ever get into like weed or edibles? Because I know there's dispensaries. No, I've everywhere. always hated weed. But I right, so right, I, right, I, right, I right. smoked weed one night on my birthday. And the last this my new sober date's August twentieth. My birthday is August nineteenth. And the last time I did anything was my birthday. I did a little bit of mushrooms and smoked weed with my friends. Okay. Okay. And then the next day, I was like, I don't want to do this. And how were your friends? Were they, like, supportive with your decision? Your yeah, they were all like, oh, you're going to smoke weed. We never smoke weed. This is so fun. And there, I, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but there is a section of the comedy uh, universe community where they do smoke weed, right? Yeah. But yeah, so. Yeah. And they're probably accepting and of that you know yeah if you had decided to do that right? yeah yeah these were childhood friends though oh this is like your homies these homies. are like my like your oceanside homie. homies oh, and my ex that's different yeah that's different than your comedy homies yeah right? it is i wouldn't have done it i don't think i don't know i don't know but i did it with my like so these were your homie homie like your oceanside childhood OG, homies childhood yes. homies okay gotcha that there's a difference there there is and yeah, they're like yeah. oh my god it's your birthday we're all gonna smoke weed together cool and you're back in diego no i was here oh they I came up here. to visit they came up to oh, visit oh okay so what how long were you out there kind of in the trench like when did you come back because i I had recently saw you in the rooms. I'm like, oh, there she is. You yeah. know, I've been seeing you in the rooms. And yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm like, no, oh. I've been like back in the rooms since August. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So that's, that's good. Yeah, that's where and we're And then at. How, how are you feeling? Like, I, I mean, is So much better. So much better. So you're really... So much you're better. You're diving back into the literature and... Like, Everything. Yeah. I've, went to, I've been going to meetings every fucking day. Isn't it great? I feel a lot better. Can I tell you why I like it? And yeah. why I think I, I've stuck buy this certain program we won't even say the name because of the whatever the i think people could figure it out they'll figure it out but it's like they don't it's not a religion and they don't force like a god upon you like i could come up with my own concept of uh, what a higher power is it could be like a it could be whatever it could be a tree it could be a cloud it's my decision yeah that's why i like it because they don't there's no rules it's not Not only that it's not a god god and there's no set way of doing it like i i have to be honest i haven't worked the the best program at all who has (laughs) who has right it's funny that you don't use a name i feel like people get mad at or i don't know people actually get mad at me but i use the name all the time i always i like write it on like i Right. I but is that like not okay? I think that well in their literature is it's like with the something press radio film like not to like promote it yeah. or something like that but they didn't say podcast in they there. They didn't say podcast. But this that was written before that all this, this yeah, other this stuff. was 1920s. Yeah, yeah. So we didn't say the name thus far but I I'm sure they can Inst- put they didn't say Instagram cuz I put it on my Instagram TikTok. all the time. They didn't mention TikTok. They didn't mention TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, <laughs> My intern was bigging you up, bro. Yeah. She was like, oh, you know what she said? She was bigging. She was like, oh, she's really getting big on TikTok. So tell me about this. I'll tell the, you about this. My yeah. journey on TikTok. I'm not. I've, I've been halted at 245,000 for a long time, for about a year. Wait, say that again. 245,000. But that's nothing in TikTok. TikTok what is like. You, on TikTok, that's it's a like. Lot of- that's a lot of people, man. On TikTok, it's like five hundred thousand followers is what makes you relevant. Anything less than that, I, you're I don't nobody. Have a TikTok is it a whole different world? It's like so much better than than Instagram. Of course. In what ways? Tell me three reasons why. Three reasons why. Yeah. Okay, you know, so Instagram, I feel like keeps you living in comparison a lot of the time. You're only seeing your friends' feeds, and then you're looking at you're getting sucked in, and you're looking at what your friends are doing, and you're like, what they're doing all this shit. Blah, 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 blah. TikTok filters through i mean there's people that you follow but mostly you don't care about the people you follow 
you're just like on an explore page that's always just random oh, people. Oh, so you don't, there's no comparing and despairing with your no, colleagues. No, nothing. Or, it's oh, just your friends. It's a random algorithm. Why do you think people do that? Like, I always wonder, and I catch myself doing this, why can't it be real where, like, oh, this is me taking a shit in my crappy apartment. I think, like, yeah. Because that's a reality. Because that right? is a reality. Or I'm eating, um, well, this is my dinner, and... <laughs> you know, like you know, those are good. I'm just giving you an example yeah. of like it's usually like when I see Instagram, they're at a gourmet restaurant. Well, see, that's why they're Instagram's in a tuxedo yeah. and they're in some banquet, and I feel horrible because yeah. I'm like I'm in here and there's eating a leak. Pringles yeah, for dinner. Eating Pringles. There's a fucking and my Vaseline is there. running low. We don't know what you're using that for. Oh, but we I'm know. Sure it is. We yeah, know. We know. <laughs> we know. We know. <laughs> Who are you kidding? We know. <laughs> don't don't go there with me. <laughs> We know. <laughs> there you go. It's okay. So yeah. we know. Yeah, we know. I, mean, I won't uh, talk about the Vaseline no, again. You didn't get into this? No, that's okay. okay. I don't know. what okay. Those are gloves? Say, yeah. Interesting. That's my masturbation kit. Yeah, that's interesting. You use gloves? <laughs> hey, time stamp this part right now. Yeah, seriously, seriously. See, what time is it right there? Okay. Yeah, I, you, you, I could, you want to go down that hallway? Let's go you down You masturbate that with gloves? Yeah. Are you lying? No. I feel like. So what's the first thing? What kind of led to this discussion? What was the first thing I said? I said TikTok. No, after TikTok, <laughs> it was, starts with a V. V A S. Vaseline. Vaseline. So let's put gloves and let's put things together. So then one it feels like you're not jerking yourself off. Then it feels like it's a different wait, wait, hand. Now see, now this is getting interesting. What did you say? It feels like you're not jerking yourself off. In what ways? I, like, it's not I don't want to get tech too technical here, but really think about it. Yeah. And then we'll discuss it. Well, okay, because it's it's a kind of a different feeling with the, the, the glove, and the Vaseline's adding a whole new element. So yeah. this is. So yeah, there is a barrier there. There's huh? a barrier, so it's not so personal. So maybe it's not like you're. And I also use my left hand. It's so weird. It's weird, it's isn't so it? Weird. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> you don't have any like. No, I don't have. I don't jack comedian. off. With the no, no, no. Blow. There's no like comedian like open mic homies. You know that do this this. No, no. <laughs> My podcast producer does have can a we kink give him a for shout gloves. Out? I like him. He seems like hey, a good guy. Lee Nason. So he got jerked uh, off can I, can recently. I give, can I say his name? Please, Lee Nason. What's up, brother? I want to meet you one day, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe you guys will run he's, into each other. And he seems off like he's doing gloves. a good job with your thing, and he's I want to talk. Well, I want to lead. I want to get into that too. I yeah. want to plug Tea Time Podcast and all that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it is a weird thing. Um. Hmm. I already went. I went through the whole gambit of uh, like the flashlights. I even, you know. Oh, you did. So you if know, we, I, I did a whole tutorial on how to make a flashlight out of a Pringles can. And you've done that. Oh yeah. But who wants? But dude, you have to go to Walmart and get sponges. It's and might as well just go a to rubber a sex bands shop. Yeah. and yeah, it's a whole. It's like a science project. Well, it's it's giving prison. I mean, that's like a prison yeah, thing it, to do. Yeah, you know what? It's weird. It is a prison style fifi. It's a yes, yeah, a fee, yeah. You know, it's a very fee-fee. prison style. Uh, except uh, I don't know what a fifi is. But. A fifi is like you said, prison. I think they make something like this with a glove, but they use a sock. Interesting. And they, yeah, it's called a fifi. Okay. Can you write that down, please? What do they fill the sock with? I think with the they uh something similar to like a latex glove yeah. and a rubber band okay. or something like that and they use it as uh yeah like it's kind of like a a ghetto ass flashlight. I get it. Because yeah. they don't have the materials in prison. Right. Unless like a family member brings a Pringle can and sponges and, and stuff. They, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> can you imagine? So so is that if you were about to date a man yeah. and he, everything's perfect right yeah. he looks great his hygiene's great Love it, he's yeah. funny right yeah, he has yeah, a great yeah. career yeah. but then you find out he does stuff like this like would that change would that change you it? know i'm open-minded i'd think at first i'd be a little rattled i'd go that's interesting and then so I'd you go, could but you have an open mind towards it because you're funny yeah. too. yeah oh, yeah and i'd go you know is it concerning at all or no you know, mm-hmm. it w- would be concerning. Well, what would be okay? What would be three red flags? Like, let's let's keep a torso. My s- you know the torsos that you can fuck, the ones that have the pussies and the assholes, and they have tits. Yeah, that's kind of like that's like serial killer. Now, if that's I some saw, weird. Yeah, because you see, have you seen those? At sex I used shops? to have a black butt. That's interesting. Would yeah. you fuck it? 
I did a few times, but it was too hard to like prepare. See, and that's a little. I d- it's gone now. I threw it away. I learned. I, well, you're pointing like you can no, still no, no, have no, it no, here. no, no. It used to be. It used to it live in there, there, but it's. Go- I used to live in the in closet. The, okay. But now it's gone. But continue. So that's a red flag. No, hold if, on. So then you would pull it out. Sometimes you'd be here alone, and you'd think, "Well, I've got well, nothing else to do. Might well, as it well didn't fuck have, the butt." When, when you say torso, so this was a butt. It was a black yeah. butt, and it had a butthole and a vagina. Had yeah. a vagina. Yeah. So it was, was it a butt? Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was like a bubble butt. Yeah. But then when I tried to, it's it's tricky when you try to masturbate with it because it's so heavy. Yeah. And it got lopsided. Yeah. And when there's oils involved, it's a lot. Yeah. Do they make them tight? Is it a tight one? Because <laughs> <laughs> they they. They model them after real porn stars, don't they? Well, those are the flashlights. I, I don't want to get too technical. Those are right. certain flashlights. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's so that, interesting because you know those girls are probably a little. Well, and they're getting paid. I mean, they, I would want to get paid too. They're I would want to. Yeah, I know, but I would want to get paid if they molded after. If I was a woman, I would want to get paid off that. Well, yeah, we're not talking about not getting paid. Yeah, I know. They, they, that's that's like a million. Give me a million dollars. Right. For that. Okay, but they're trying to make these pussies as accurate as possible, right? I that I don't know the technical aspects. <laughs> But but that's interesting to think about. Well, because I'm thinking, because here's what I'm thinking: yeah. if they're trying to make them anatomically accurate to the porn star's pussy. Yeah, to the to the exact are mold. We, are we going? Are we gonna? Uh, I as far as like the, uh, the those girls if it's dilated fucked. or right. if it's yeah right. Um, if I was the company, I would tr- I would make them a little tighter. Make them a little tighter. Yeah, huh? just. Because when you when you're buying it like that, yeah. I mean the wear and tear. You don't want to get it all wrecked. Yeah. 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 So you don't want to get it all filled with cum already. Yeah, and that okay, that's interesting. You you bring that up because <laughs> yeah. when you when you're using something like that, it's yeah. not while you're in it because you're in the moment and you're in your zone. It's after the fact, the, no. the, the remorse and the guilt. Of course, because can I tell you, you what? Feel, you feel like a complete loser. <laughs> Like it's, I, you already feel bad. Look, yeah, have you ever had look somebody how she's knock- tuning out? <laughs> have you ever had somebody my knock intern, on your? I look over at my intern. She's literally just no. staring at the ground. Like, she's like, she's like, dude, thank God it's the holiday. <laughs> she's like, um, Steve, yeah, we've we've been down this road how many times to get like, a how many times are we gonna talk? But about it's interesting to me, man, because I want to know. It's really they're, interesting because my viewers, a lot of my listeners, yeah. are they might be single dudes. They might they I'm might. I'm sure be most incels. of them actually they are. Might, they might be. Well, you, you know what's you have weird? An incel audience vibe. <laughs> to get time stamp that for real. <laughs> you cross the line there, my friend. <laughs> That's where you cross the line. We really see get the exact time and segment, please. Thank you. How dare Have you? Have you ever had? <laughs> How dare you? But that's so weird because I was looking at my analytics. <laughs> no, I was tripping. Dude, guess how much, like, fem- male versus female, the ratio. You have one woman that listens. No, <laughs> pretty <laughs> close. <laughs> yeah. uh, you have a half of a woman. No, no, but let's break down the percentage. Yeah. It's like 97% male. It's so unsurprising. <laughs> Timestamp that, too. This is unacceptable, my friend. Um, <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. You know, do you believe I have a girlfriend? That, it's a miracle, dude. Do you have a girlfriend? Yeah, dude, don't make a joke out of that. I am <laughs> just, not going to make a joke out of that. Let it process. It's interesting. Sit with it. Yeah. It's a miracle. Does she oh. live... Is she she <laughs> does she live in the closet? Oh my god! She no, we're doing a long distance thing. You're doing a long yeah, distance yeah. thing. I love her, man. That's great. Yeah. Where does and she, she live? East Coast, Pennsylvania. That's yeah, long yeah, distance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Good yeah. for you. But I love her. Shout out to her. I love so, okay, her. second red flag. So that would be a red flag, a torso or something like so that. Or a butt. Oh, a butt or, or a torso. A okay, butt that's or a red torso, flag. Yeah. All right, what else would be? What, hygiene, smells, or anything? Um, you know what? Re- like red flag, my yeah, like, personal yeah, yeah, red yeah. flag. Yeah, yeah. When you don't, when they don't floss, you gotta floss. You do. You do. You. Ha- I have. Uh, can I? Can I? Gr- can I just show you my? You do it right now. Well, no, 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 no. I didn't. Yeah, those are good. So these yeah, these are, are good. Um, I'm not sponsored. This is not you're, sponsored. you're not sponsored. Okay. Yeah, but the, I, I, I like doing this because they're like mini flossing things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are There's good. There's something satisfying about flossing, right? Because you get all the... Now, can I ask a question? I think I'm the only person I've ever met who does those. Go do you ahead. ever smell the floss after you floss? Well, that's the whole reason why I do it. Are you <laughs> I smell the floss all the time. I love the funk. It smells so bad. <laughs> it smells so bad. 
You, you know okay? what? Thanks for your honesty. Yeah. I like your honesty. Yeah. Radical yeah, honesty. A, um, now, when you do a, like, like a floss thing, like yeah. a session of it, do yeah. you, do you kind of swipe it and then? No, I don't do that. I'm not a monster. What? Not a total monster. No, no, no. No, but do you, do you let, because it's plaque build up and, yeah, and no. crawl? No, I don't wipe it off with my finger and smell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross. I don't either. And yeah, I don't either. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So what? It smell. How would you describe the smell? It's not pooey though, is it's it? It's not pooey. It's something no, no, no. else, it's isn't it? More rotten. There's a there's a smell. There's a difference between poo yeah, and yeah, rotten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more like kind of um, funky. Yeah. It's like a funky. It's like a. It's a leftover, f- like rot, like more like rotting cheese. Rotting cheese, yeah, is good. something like did that. Did you ever get? Do you have your tonsils? I think so. Did you ever get? Did you ever get them removed? Do you? No. You know, so you probably have them then. Have a, what the funk? tonsils? No, you tonsils. Yeah. yeah. Can I tell you? Can I confess something else that I do? Yeah. As far as since we're on smells, and Please, I love yeah. talking about smells. Yeah. Uh, my toenail. Um, do you smell I it? Yeah. It's just you haven't done that. I have done that. Yeah, I'm having a hard time. It's like Cheetos, up, isn't it? Like Cheetos. It's interesting. I yeah. wouldn't say maybe Cheetos. But Cheetos for me, it's Cheetos. Yeah, it's like rotting Cheetos. Um, but anyway, so that'd be the second red flag. We'll we'll get on the third red flag. Then yeah. move on to. I want to get to your comedy. There is something not. Th- there's something so satisfying though about scraping out your toenails. We'll just say that. Well, what's so satisfying with you? It's just satisfying. It's do fun you, to no, scrape do you, it out. So do you do you clip them first and then do you scrape and smell? I'm the only one that really scrapes it and does this. Yeah, huh? that's weird. I don't do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, so the th- <laughs> okay, the <laughs> I'm having fun with you, buddy. Um, the third, <laughs> the third red flag yeah, yeah. would be what about bad breath? Yeah, I mean, well, that, I mean, that comes along with not flossing. But so what about frugalness? Let's say he was a he was a good guy, and you know he has money. Let me just I'm gonna th- throw a little little scenario yeah, at you. Okay? okay. Okay. He's got money. He's yeah. he has a good career, but then he doesn't pay for. Like it's always e- Dutch, unattractive. That's just and I signs of frugalness is a turn off, isn't it? Well, I feel like insults are going to get really mad at that. No, I'm no, no. I want you to be honest, though. I, mean, I am. No, I am. So the, and I am honestly saying the insults get mad at that because they think, well, why do men have to pay for the whole thing? Why can't the women then too? If you guys are feminists, and it's like, well, come on, fucking get it together. Well, I'm a feminist, like but not that much, you know. We're chivalry. I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean that's I mean throughout history. If, it's we're, like if we're the ones that have to get fucked, then well, you have to pay that, for dinner. I mean, let's take it like as far as uh, biology, as far as survivalist yeah. mode. It's like the you know the men had to go get the the food and hunt, and yeah. the, the the women had to gather stuff and yeah. then, and bear the children, bear the children. Yeah, and it's like it's kind of like going we, back to that. Yeah. And it's like, where's that? Where's the silver? I mean, it just it doesn't take much to open up a car door. Do you see? That's a little. Can I be honest? Yeah, that would be a little much. What a car, well, if I went on a date with a guy and, and before opened he first? opened up, if we left dinner, and then he ran to my side of the door and opened it for me, no, I'd be well, like, what about the inside? He opens it from the inside before he said open. Oh, so he's already sitting down. He's, he's sitting down and that. he opens it for you. <laughs> so it's different if he gets up physically, gets up, See, walks around the to the the the, the, the your side. Those feel like two side. different things. Those the first one feels like too much, and then the other one is like too weird. Mm. The other one's kind of like a fuck you if they just you know. No, can I can I? And I want you to be honest. I'm yeah. going to ask you a question. I just want your honesty now. Do you think if the man is too giving as as far as just your typical relationship that w- w- women could take advantage of that? Yeah. Like all the time, right? Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> give me, give me a scenario. Well, you know, I like what, like steak dinners. Like if you know, I, mean, I order another steak. Yeah, I. You've done that? No, I haven't done. No, that. No, but you've ordered dessert. Oh yeah. That's a that's like a given. You give an you give an inch. I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna take a few. So give me a scenario. I like I like your honesty. Give me a scenario of when you did that. Uh, well, okay, recently. Do you want to? We don't have to say the name, but just get, is it a date? No, it wasn't a date. No, so my my ex 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 ex. He's my ex. Love him. Yeah, he's we're not my, saying any names. He's my close friend. Yeah, but I lost my debit card, and I didn't. For real. I lost my debit card for real. Your bank debit card. My bank debit card. Oh, so that's a problem. Yeah, and I didn't have, and I was, t- unfortunately, the past like two week didn't have any money so i had all this money in my venmo account but it couldn't transfer oh, to my debit because there's a whole thing it was a whole technical thing well and technical you, and thing and this is when did you realize this on the date 
No, I'm not on a date. You're not on a no, date. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm not okay, on a date. Okay, okay, okay. No, okay, but, sorry, so, sorry. No, no, no. So you're getting this all mixed okay, up. Okay, sorry. I, I thought lo- it was a date. No, it's not a date. It was just a, a relationship situation. So, okay. So I lose my card, right? Mm-hmm. Don't have any access to money. Mm-hmm. So I hit up my very long ago ex, who I'm still friends with, and mm-hmm. I said, hey, can I borrow your credit card so I can fill up my gas tank, get some cat food? He's like, he's English. He goes, yeah, of course you can do that. Yeah, yeah, And I was yeah, like, yeah. okay, great. Oh, cool, cool. So I take his card. And he's like, you can get a couple things for yourself if you need to. And I was like, well, now I have to go get $100 worth of groceries and he buy a rug you, physically at gave, Target. He physically gave you his card. I have it on me. Right now. So you give an inch. I'm going to take oh my God. $300 so, to he's buy the groceries. One that allowed that? And he did. What a good. I mean, but what a good. And I'm going to pay him back. But it's, yeah. you know, it was, he was like, you can get a couple things. And I said, well, I guess I'll see you at Target. No. <laughs> no. Living room needs a new so rug. that do you think he's an exception to the rule or, or do do a lot of men kind of do that i think he's an exception to the rule i don't Cause, think a lot cause, of men don't you think a lot of men would be like oh, i don't know about that. for sure yeah i don't think right? that's why yeah so does that but that's get, that's an example does he of get taking points an inch. for that i'm just saying how, does he get points yeah, for that yeah he gets points for that so that means if he's in a situation one time let's say he runs out of gas that means you'll get him yeah you'll here's be, the thing well, go ahead here's the thing yeah I got married to him so he could get his green card. So at the end of the day, oh, that who changes owes, it. Who owes oh, who what? That changes it a yeah, lot. It does. That's a huge factor. Yeah, it does. Huge. Yeah. So there you go, man. I mean, she, you know, citizenship, brother. You know yeah. what I mean? So you kind she of did are her part. Big time. There's a lot of other women that wouldn't have done that, but she she stepped up. I did and it. did that, brother. You know. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, how, give me an update. That uh, uh, wait before we go to the comedy because I know we've always talked about the comedy. We're gonna talk about the comedy. We don't have to talk no, about no, comedy. No, no, but I want to talk about because people might not know you do you do art. Yeah. You paint and draw. Yeah, yeah. So, like, tell me about that process. And, I mean, how do people get a hold of you? Like, what's your, like, what What do you get inspiration from? Hmm. Art-wise? Yeah, like, I notice you just kind of do your own thing. I do do my own thing. Yeah. I, I don't know. I pay attention to artists that I like. Mm-hmm. I look at what they are doing. and. Would you possibly want to, I know you're completely, like, devoted to comedy you have to be right mm-hmm. in order to kind of it's such a competitive thing mm-hmm. but if there was an opportunity to kind of enter into the art ethos i yeah. mean would you kind of dabble in that as yeah well? i would love to i mean because that i mean if you you but get I known like, dude but, but with each of those things they both take like a hundred percent of, of your, your so it's like yeah but in different ways i understand what you're saying yeah. So do you? Let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you write Joe? Do you write every night? Absolutely, the fuck not. There you go. I don't do that I ever. Mean, you're a human, right? How could you do that? You're not a, a joke writing machine. I don't right? sit around writing. But jokes. what I'm saying, dude, when you're not do, doing that on the downtime, that's when you could do your art, that's right? That's what I'm doing. I'm always. That's what on I'm art. saying. So there's room for both, right? There is room for both. So that's, that's why I do that. both. But, but yeah. that's the thing with art. Once it's done. It that's done. It's all ready. If yeah. you want to get your own gallery show, it's just like the hookups. Yeah. Who you know? Do you know this art? It's true. A gallery owner or this? Yeah. Per- you know what I'm saying? I just hate my art too. I look back on things that I do and I'm like, this sucks. Yeah, but everyone hates their art. Yeah, but everyone hates it. I mean, you're we're I over embar- critical. I know. I get embarrassed. I look back at the shit I posted and I'm like. No, that was good. That's embarrassing. Someone might want that in their kitchen and in, in their near the dining room yeah. table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what are you saying? So are you saying that it you need to elite pick one in order to like make it or something? I or? think that like if I really dedicated myself to like art, mm-hmm. I would lean further away from comedy. Can I give you an example that might com- combat that though? Yeah. Kevin Christie. Who's that? Comedian from the comedy store. He's opened up for my brother. He's a regular at the comedy store. He's successful in both, man. Like, he's done graphics on uh, that toy machine for toy machine skateboards. And he d- he does. He g- he shows up to his sets. He- he's open. That's great. Yeah, so you could do. I'm saying it's possible yeah. to do both. Yeah, I guess I'm right? thinking of I mean, it in a different. I'm thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it is possible. You just got to open your both. mind to it as a possibility. Like, yeah. hey, you know, it's because it's all. In here, it is all in here. It's all in here, yeah. and we know that from our addiction and every, a lot of it's, it's stemmed up from up here. So if people, I could tell you don't like talking, you don't like talking about your head. 
I hate it. I can just tell your energy it. just went. Ooh. I mean, we're talking about Pringles. I'm talking about you fucking uh, Pringles like can. Like, like yeah. your your eyes are like this no, when see, we talk about stuff. talking about Fifi's. You got your Cause eyes cause, dude, got I'm this like, big. Imp- you're like, oh, yeah. What else? <laughs> yes. I, I have imposter <laughs> syndrome when it comes to I art. Like, I'm like it's unbelievable. Well, I don't because I don't really think I'm a real artist. No, so I have imposter syndrome. Do you do art? I mean, do you, is it on your is it on yeah, canvases? Yeah, but I look at other people. Do you enjoy doing it? Are there colors in it? Yeah, is there form? Is yes. there form and technique involved? Yeah. yeah. Then you you're an artist. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're we're gonna get off this topic. I Thank just God. I want no. I want them, the viewers and listeners, to know if yeah. Take yourself out of the equation. Yeah. Because they're. I'm putting it on them. Yeah. If they want to buy one of your paintings, yeah. how do they go about doing that? That's so I all. do have a website. Thank you. I have a website. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, you I, I know I wanted to get to this point. I advertise yeah. everything on my Instagram. Right now, my big thing, right now, I just got an airbrushing machine. So I'm learning how to airbrush that's, that's t-shirts. Dope, I know. Dude, it's that's, sick. That's like 90s. Dope. Yeah. So dope. Your stuff reminds me of nostalgic, kind of like old school 90s. That's what, know what I'm what trying saying? to tap into. Yeah. So I got an airbrushing machine because I love airbrush clothes. So I really want to learn how to do this like 90s style of shit. Like even East LA, kind of like Chola vibe. That's fucking. what I'm talking that's about. That's what I'm saying. You, there's a market for that, dude. Yeah. We're in Los Angeles. Say your website again. I really want to plug it. I, I really want to push it. My website, I think, is... I don't know the name of it, but you can go on my Instagram, and it's linked on there. And my Instagram is Gabby Lamy. Spell that out. G-A-B-B-Y-L-A-M-B-Y. And okay. all of my shit is on there. So that wasn't so hard, was it? It was. It was? Yeah, it was hard. Okay, because cause the reason why I'm bringing that up, because I've had so many comedians come on, and like I've, I always catch myself asking the same questions like when's your special dropping yeah, 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 yeah. what's your process like mm-hmm. yeah i mean what's it like bombing and what are you know like yeah. i've i've asked all those and we i think we've pretty much covered that we've last talked time. about that too yeah, yeah but since you don't want to talk about your art anymore and we already plugged that right can we at least talk about like where are you at right now it seems like you're very active doing your you're doing your comedy stuff. I am. i've been on the road a lot which is nice i've been opening for felipe esparza which is cool really that dude kicks ass yeah i love felipe He's can we give funny. him a shout out yeah I big shout out to felipe. Yeah, felipe and then how did that connection happen he saw me on laugh factory and he just plucks me out of there and that dude's dope yeah felipe's sick he's yeah, very he's sick. funny he's, he's very, very funny. funny and not only that he's got like he's got kind of like a east la kind of like Big laid time. back vibe yeah to him too you He's know like, from like stoner vibe too yeah kinda like yeah so so he saw your set and how does that work Do, does he does he email you or does he come up to you after the show like hey i like your stuff i didn't meet his his uh he saw me on laugh factory followed me on instagram and it was right before the pandemic. He reached out and said, would you want to, you know, work with me on the Netflix as a joke festival? And I was like, I don't know what that even is. And isn't that a big deal? And they said, we'll pay you, you know, I think like 500 bucks. And I, when I tell you my jaw hit the floor because I had never been paid more than $4 for a set. And I was like, you, $500? You've been in the trenches. You've paid your dues. I mean, I've you've been. The Oceanside show, San Diego show. Which at I was bar, there last week in the horror bar, bar. At this dive bar, at that. Yeah, Harper, she, she said she said it was difficult. Like, there was hecklers. By the time she Horrible. did her set, mm. she was, like, trying to navigate through that. Yeah. How do you... How do you how do y'all deal with that? Like when that ha- like when that happens. I don't fucking know. I don't even know. I get you mad, I shut down. And then I say, So Go you fuck shut yourself. down. I shut down. I'm not good at dealing with hecklers. Because there's certain good. comedians that their 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 crowd work radar like sets off no. and like, oh hey, blah blah blah. Yeah, you're not one no. of those. I shut down. So are you more you stick to the script, you stick to your, your material, and if someone kind of intervenes, I get mad. I say, "What the fuck? You come on!" Or I do it. Th- but I you, th- but you interact. I inter. I mean, I interact with you people all the time. It. You acknowledge it. Yes, that's the worst thing to do, right? Not acknowledge it. I see. I don't know. I'm figuring that out because some people just plow through it, and it seems to be okay. But then really? I acknowledge it too much, and then they get too excited, then they start interacting with you too much, and you're like, "Okay, relax. This isn't about you." Right. And is that know. more common than people think? I think so. Yeah. I think so. You know what? I have to give it up to y'all. 
people think stand up is like oh, I, anyone can do that, but it's it's difficult. It's isn't people it? don't. That's what you it's know. It's very difficult, isn't it? And the thing about insults, because I've done I've done that. I've done you know I've yeah. done shows. You know I've done like I've opened for Jeremiah like little yeah, guest spots. Yeah, I've bombed at the lab. It was painful. Did you bomb? Everybody bombs at the lab. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, but mine was pretty. They hated me. I've bombed there really badly. It's okay. No, they hated me. Yeah. And it w- one Did they try to fight you? No, one, uh, and it was an Asian man uh, up front said, because I was talking about, back then I was talking about, uh, like I had like micro dick jokes, or, you know, yeah, you know yeah. typical, whatever. Typical, yeah. And then, uh, Classic. He, and then he goes, good luck with that. <laughs> and I didn't acknowledge. <laughs> I just walked away. And it made it much worse because I didn't confront my abuser. <laughs> He's telling you. He basically was just clowning me like, good luck with that. It was your abuser. And I was just, and then I just, I just remember just sweat, just building yeah. up. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. And you shut and then, down. Uh, and then at that point, it was, w- it, it was horrible. Oh, yeah. It just went downhill. Oh, yeah. Anything I said, boo, boo, yeah, boo. Yeah, yeah. And it was and like, your abuser's getting like more and more. It was like yeah. a twilight zone. No. It made me feel good that you said, so that's a very common place for people to bomb. Everybody bombs, sir. Why do you think that is? Because it's the worst room in the entire world. I don't know. There's something haunted about that room. Is it's it the small. way? It, is it the people that it attracts, or the way it's set up? I think it's the way it's set up. I don't know. There's something about it There's that's just so wa- bad. It's bad, isn't it? So for anybody who's thinking about going to the improv lab, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't fucking do so it. So what was your experience like? I just want to know. I don't know. I've bombed there hundreds of times. Like where? Like what's your definition of bombing though? Because mine, I got nothing. You want to know what it is? It's I this. got. They hated me. So this is okay. So okay. this is this right now. Yeah. Is what bombing is. I'm I'm gonna be an audience member. Okay. Oh my god. And then you're saying your jokes. Hey. I'm everybody. saying my jokes, and then I'm saying my jokes, and then there's somebody in the front like this. Oh my God! They're on, on their phone. On their so phone. they're not. Let me ask you this: They're not reacting to anything. Nothing. I, nothing. Nothing. Humiliating. And I'm up there acting out how to suck dick. And can you imagine doing that? And yeah, and you're, you're committing to your joke. Committing to my bit, and I'm going in, and people are just in. like, "Cause you're funny. You do physical funny shit, man. A lot I of like physical your stuff, stuff man. Yeah. yeah. So it's not you. It's the environment, then. Well, it's also probably me. <laughs> <laughs> No, does it take? I love your honesty. No, does it take a certain personality or thick skin to do this comedy thing? To to, to, to act out you sucking guys are dick. You on stage and you're vulnerable and you're like, hey, look at me. I listen think it's to a, my I think words. it's mental illness. I don't know if normal there's people. There's some very like hurt. Uh, <laughs> there's <laughs> there's not like a lot of healthy things going on up there. I don't. I would agree with that. Because a healthy person wouldn't be like, hey, I'm gonna go on this stage in front of these strange people and I want you to clap and accept you know what I'm saying? No, you're a dancing it, so clown. It's you're like a you're a jester. Cl- yeah, like you're re- yeah. You're saying everybody please just for one second love me. So so what are you saying? So you're the, sick. The, so <laughs> so you keep going up you like the abuse that like I you could say I the do. The comedians like the abuse. So I'm I'm just like like I'm not trying to se- psychoanalyze. I'm just trying to work no, through please, it. No, please, it's okay. You can't But so so in a way since it's so it's so painful and so, so painful. destructive. Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, neglect. Yes. And a lot of neglect. Yeah. There's, abuse. you know what I mean? You're trying to get their affirmation. Yeah. And I mean, that's why so many people stand approval. up. They're trying to get their approval. Yeah. And when that doesn't happen and they don't approve of you, you continuously go on and stage it, every night. And it validates what a piece of shit you really believe you are. You so know. there's something there, don't you think? I, I would, mean, I would if, think. If they're, like, let's say there's therapists in the crowd and they're analyzing just the whole dynamic with the crowd and the comic yeah. or the whatever They're, they could definitely do a synopsis of they would I would think I mean I had a saying? therapist in in the front the other night at a show and it was oh, like an actual therapist she was an actual therapist and I said what do you think of this and then y- you're doing crowd work with her yeah 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 and she goes uh, I don't take insurance and I said well I guess we're not going to work together <laughs> are we what do you yeah. yeah. Um. So what's let's let's turn it more positive oh, as yeah. far as like comedy. Yeah. 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 Um. Are you um. 
are you working on a special or like what are your goals no. for 2023 because this is going to drop uh, like pri- probably at the beginning of 2023 oh this, really this episode. yeah because I'm, I'm ahead on schedule nice. i want let's do some positive uh positive affirmations let's do some um i'm so bad that i have let's such do some okay. like new, year, new year's resolutions on yeah. like what we we could both let's keep it po- turn it positive. it would be nice to ha- i don't have anything in the works as far as shooting a special it would be nice to like actually record 20 30 minutes and get that out there Okay, and that's possible, isn't it? I feel like it is. Can uh, what's his name, the producer of Tea Time uh, Podcast? He does. Can, he talks about it all the time. He says yeah, I can, can shoot that for you. So he could do that. He could edit it, right? Yeah. And, and, and what what else needs to happen? Finding a location to where to shoot it. Yeah. You know, here's the thing now with like TikTok and social media. I mean, comics are all posting their fucking clips and going viral and da 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 da. Yeah, but Jeremiah brought that up too. A lot of these comedians, they're kind of like kind of new to the game yeah and they're only only like they're editing they're not really capturing the real their real show it's yeah like just like 30 seconds of yeah a thing to make them look like even with he even said like even without crowd reaction like where yeah they're in their apartment and they make it look like they're at oh he show. talked about that yeah, guy no, no 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 off camera he's like there's certain he didn't say any names but he said there's there a, guy is a that's renaissance that. of this happening where mm-hmm. these comedians like not even at real shows they're yeah. like they're like literally in their apartment yeah. and they're editing it to where it looks like there's a real yeah, crowd you put up a curtain behind you and you add laugh track you yeah. zoom in tight on you it's like that movie uh that old martin scorsese movie the king of comedy with robert de niro you know rupert pumpkin you know he's like that type of thing never seen it well it, you should check it out it's about he has in his apartment in his mom's basement there's like wallpaper of crowd like audience members of wallpaper like oh, and, and, and he's performing in front of like just his just alone but they're like it's a wallpaper filled with people that just be people's faces that sounds like a fucking fever it, it's a dream. cool movie it's a cool movie. you should walk you should check it out yeah the king of comedy yeah it's i think it's from the 70s or okay. 80s but anyway, so what do you think about that? Like, that's kind I of I think like, it honestly... That's like kind of being false, isn't well, it? Well, yeah. Well, I think it also like ruins com- like what comedy really is. Because that's not it. It's the vulnerable moments where you're not doing too good. Uh, yeah. And you have to get them back on your side. But I also right? think people are like really capitalizing on these like 30 second clips. And they're... To go viral. That, to go viral. It's all about going viral now. <sighs> And it's yeah. so, and you see it all the time. People who aren't even like really, you know, comedy is about paying your fucking dues. Or maybe I sound like an old grandma saying that, but I do feel like it is kind of about paying your dues. And then you have people. It kind of is. And not only that, but the thing is, you get respect from your colleagues, though, because they know that you right. do the real show. But you don't have to do that anymore with TikTok. You just go viral, and all of a sudden everybody's like, whoa. But, but, but you know the downside about that? Okay, let's play that out. Yeah. They go viral, right? Yeah, you show up to this a show. This person's they suck. performing at the Irvine Improv and all the. Uh, TikTok fans show up. Mm-hmm. Let's what? What about the thirty minutes more you have to do on stage? And that's the issue. That's what I'm saying. And it's there kind of a the false issue. sense of like reality. There. Yeah, yeah. But isn't that social media? Why do people like? Oh God, we time flew by. But I one last question. A yeah. couple more. Why do you think it's put, people put such an emphasis on going viral? Because that's what we. Because uh, it's it's but currency. Because it's social currency now. It's more important than anything. But what does it really? It doesn't fix you. It doesn't, it doesn't really do anything. But don't you think that social media has kind of made us all narcissists? It's just like self obsession and needing to be validated. Have, I think everyone on there that are put themselves out there, mm-hmm. they have a little bit of narcissism. Yeah. Some worse than others. Some worse than others. But I think that, yeah, it's. But but we know it's an inside job. Like what yeah. we do. But most people don't know that. I know, but I'm going back to our yeah. thing. Yeah. Since we're addicts and we do, we're trying to live by these principles and and f- follow these things in all of our our affairs. Mm-hmm. We know that it's not these outside things won't fix you, so you have to do something internally, right? Because I've had me and uh just uh you know shout out to Joe Jimenez. Uh, he was on love him. Yeah, Joel. We did a thing um on a podcast and it went viral. It went viral. Right, one point eight million, like something. And wow, really? And, yeah, we're ta- and we're talking about his dick, like, because he's got a, he's got a thick dick. Oh, I think I saw that clip. It was really funny. Yeah, yeah, but that, but, but my point being, we didn't. Joel has a thick dick. <laughs> I mean, look at your rock star can. No. No. You're lying. No, I saw. Have you seen it with my own eyes? Yeah. Thick. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you, Joel. Nice. <laughs> Is it long? It's pretty long. So and he's thick. a big dick? It's thick. Okay, so... 
It's are we talking chode? What is that? <laughs> we short, might have to edit <laughs> short thick. No, it's a pretty good like. I was surprised. It was like whoa, nice. Yeah. Did <laughs> Now you're back in the conversation. <laughs> you're like, really? Chode? So you remember at the <laughs> beginning of the thing where you said, I only know two th- two keys. Yeah, yeah. So that's with me and what I think about. I think about two things and talk about only two things, really. So Really? Yeah. That's what interests you is like what? Hygiene. Okay, where have my where have my eyes fucking <laughs> opened wider than sin? It's when we were talking about you jacking off with a glove. Yeah, that and it, then that, Joel's that, thick well, dick. That, that interests you. D- these are the things that I fixate on. I'm like, whoa, now that's well, no, why, where why the why meat is. It is. Because, well, it's just a human thing because everyone, it's a human. Yeah, it's in our biology. Maybe or I'm so, immature. Maybe I don't. No, know. I don't. I don't think that's that's it. I just think that. Look, I mean, that's the stuff that I fascinates but, but, me. But, but, but it fascinates me too because I know I'm if obsessed. I didn't have that outlet i mean i could be you know because also we can talk about wall well, street i don't know no well yeah exactly i don't know about stuff. my, my art anything. boring yeah. come not on. to me though and not See, to and them. that's sweet and not to them and not to them and not to them See, to me it's so i'm like who gives a yeah. fuck about my art it's all right so since okay since we we we, we threw <laughs> joel you know good for you joel man joel, Pat, congrats dude. on your huge dude, thick dick god bless you brother god bless you yeah um does it matter does the size matter you know, I'm not a size queen, but I think yeah. that girth is nicer than a thin. I'm like sorry a s- to make any wait, 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 wait. You, you could say uh, like a slim gym. Yeah, because I've had I've had relations with men with long, thin ones. Like how skinny? Like skinny. Like a slim gym. Like well, not like actually, yeah, <laughs> like a slim gym. I've 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 had experience with a slim gym. Yeah, and so it, that's just there's nothing uh, that doesn't do anything. Couldn't have run out that door faster. Now would. I uh, still I still sucked him off because I'm a lady. A slim but gym. after uh, that, and it was like a little beef jerky. Yeah. Stick. yeah. Um. Now, what if it was short but a lot of girth? Better. It feels like two inches, but a lot of girth. Weird. So that, that would feel like a plug, wouldn't it? <laughs> Some kind of. Right. So, plug. um. So s- the length doesn't matter as much as the girth, then. You could have a medium-sized penis that's girthy, and that's nice. Really? Yeah. Okay. Maybe even a little bit, but you could have very average and very average, but with a little girth. Yeah, you need the girth. I then. think so. I think so. Now, what if uh, a person, because it's biological, like how how do like what if there's a guy out there and you know they they want more girth? Like how do we? Are there Botox, like uh, filler? There's filler that you could put stuff in there to make not it that i know of but i'm gonna throw that out there yeah. if i can if i can put it in my lips you can mm-hmm. probably put it in your Cir- circumcised or uncircumcised doesn't matter so that doesn't matter no. it's just the meat and potatoes meat and potatoes um what if everything's fine yeah. with the 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 penis itself yeah, yeah but yeah. what if the if the the, the nuts acts a little swampy that's okay <laughs> swampy yeah, a little like kind of s- with the funky smell. Yeah, dry. Dry. Yeah, dry. Hmm. Is that an issue or? It's you know what. Yeah, go ahead. Well, that's one. Of th- <laughs> it's <laughs> one of those things we'll have to figure out yeah. in the moment. Yeah. Depends on it the dip- kind of. If he's a guy with a nasty personality and swampy balls, no. Yeah. Or maybe he's got a great personality. Maybe but what? Wi- Let's say he's not aware of it. Would you throw? Because I have CeraVe, and yeah, I love it. Great lotion. Yeah, it's great, great lotion. Yeah, it, it is. Um, now, would, can you throw that in as far as like a, like like would you would you present that to him like, hey, babe, there's the thing that could could moisturize down there, CeraVe. Yeah, it, I could. Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't mind without like. How would you tell him without hurting his feelings? Well, see, now that's where I don't know because I I'm not very good at. You know, you're a straight shooter. You just straight you shoot from the hip. That's this it. This is how it is. A spade is I, a spade. It's spades is a spade. Yeah, yeah. So that go but ahead. I don't know how to be nice. What do you say? I want to say, hey, guess what? Do do? what? Get, just get your stuff together. Get it together. Listen, I've had men tell me that <laughs> my coochie smells. And no, really? Yeah. A man has said that. Yeah, well, I had a lot of BV at the time, bacterial vaginosis, for those of you who don't but, but know. But there's stuff for that over the counter monster. There is. But I wasn't aware. No, but th- there's there's things you there can are get. things you can do. Yeah, monostat. So I'm glad they told me. So then I was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize that my pussy wasn't supposed to smell like it was rotting. I thought that yeah. was just a thing. 
Yeah, but that's a human thing. You're not, you but know. I'm what I mean? But what I'm saying is that I'm glad that it was brought to my attention yeah. in a way that was like, "Hey, bitch, get your pussy yeah, checked." Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah. "Oh, okay." Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's probably what I would say. I'd say, "Hey, so women hey, are sensitive swampy. with that too." Yeah. Yeah. Very sensitive. They are. Yeah. Like as far as just like the details of that, or uh, like just the smell of it, yeah. like the hygiene of it. Yeah. They are. Yeah. What about the um the? <laughs> he was very. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It throws off your pH. So, so, so yeah. wait, well, that's interesting. So that affect that your diet affects what go, is going 100%, on. Hundred percent. But well, it's also with men in your cum. You're lucky because what you guys eat doesn't make your dick smell bad, but it does make your cum taste horrific. It does. Yeah. So those Pringles probably aren't doing you much good. <laughs> those Pringles and rock stars. Hey, you know what? Stinky. <laughs> There's worse things in life. Okay. Man, that's yeah. true. All right, we made it. We made an hour. Did did we make it out? About fifty four. No, no, no. Wait, let's. I want to make six six more minutes. No, let's do six more minutes. Let's let's talk about. Let's really plug your art again. (laughs) I love art. Hold up, I got a couple things. So do you yeah. use paint brushes, the acrylic paint? Like I use did, acrylic paint, okay, let's but I got my one. airbrushing machine. Yeah. And right. H- how did you, what made you want to get that? That's interesting. Like, aren't those hard to uh, obtain now? They are hard. How'd you find yours, uh, the airbrush machine? Went on Amazon. Yeah. I typed in airbrush machine. And is that different than spray paint? Like, sure yeah, is. It's a whole different medium, isn't it? Whole different it? thing. And so are you self-taught? Or are you teaching yourself? Oh, well, I s- did it for the first time yesterday. So I guess it's self-taught. Self-taught. And I'm sure there's like YouTube videos where you can look there up. There sure are. There yeah. are YouTube videos. I have a hard time with that stuff, though. I really learn better from like one-on-one. I need somebody to kind of, you know, work with me so I can right. ask questions. I get really confused really fast. Yeah. And there's a lot of little parts with an airbrush machine, and I don't really. It's like a tattoo machine. There's a lot of like you have to figure out. I mean, by the way, let's since you brought that up, you have some great art on you. Thank you so much. Like, uh, what's the most painful area to get tattooed? Ba- my legs were hor- or horrible. Like what? What part this of your was leg? Horrific. The shin. The horrible. Shin, sh- it's horrible. It's worse than any- your arms. And- the inside of my arm was pretty horrific. Like, let me see the in- like. This was. How many this pieces, was. How many no pieces way. do you have? Like, and are these all different artists? Yes. This was the worst one on my arm. This was horrible. That, that hurt right here. Horrible. And really? it's also it's also very thick. It was very thick. Oh, needle. what about this part? Oh, not so bad. These ones weren't so bad. Like right here. Yeah, not so bad. This what horrible. About, I would I would guess the neck. Not was bad at all. Cause not bad. dude, the neck. Th- I think that's the choice one to get next for me. It's not bad. Like a neck, dude. That looks sick. Yeah, like, the the yeah. neck was okay. What about the butterfly in the on your throat? Could have fallen asleep. Yeah. Can you can I take a look? Yeah. yeah, but also these are fine lines, so it's not traditional tattoos are very pa- they're more painful. Yeah, because they're really digging in. Yeah, I've got one did here. That, did that hurt? No, that doesn't hurt so much. Okay, and then how many? Do you have any on your back? Yeah, I just got a big one on my back. The back is very painful. So how do we? Can we shout out any of these tattoo artists? Like, oh my god, yeah, I go to like, some. Like, like, where are you getting your work done? Like, I'm okay, I'm Mario serious. Aguilar, love him. Mario Aguilar is, is he done. Well known? He's at LA he is. He's at Midtown Tattoo. I love him. He's, he did my neck. He did my hand. The butterfly. And then how do you find these people? Do they reach out to you? No, no, no. I just uh, I found. Honestly, my ex-boyfriend put me on with a lot of really good tattoo artists, and okay, through yeah, them, too? yeah, that doesn't hurt there. No, that wasn't so bad. That didn't hurt. Th- this that stuff didn't. Hurt. Not not so bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mario Aguilar, Midtown Tattoo. He's amazing. Same with um. The shading on that's really good too. This one. This I one I got. I don't. The, the great. Look at the the details in that. Thank Who did so this much. one? I forgot his oh, name. <laughs> okay. I forgot his then, name. So all these these are all these different are all tattoos. different. Jose Martinez, I think, that is his name. Nice too, this one, this one's been by a famous guy, Burt Crack, in New Ooh, York. Really? Yeah. How'd you guys link? How'd you link up? He's my one? cousin's tattoo artist, and my cousin was like, "Let's go." To my guy, I didn't How know who he was. What's the dollar value on all this art that you have on? You? I, honestly, on my entire body. Yeah, just think my about my it. body. I would say is probably worth. Fifteen, twenty-five thousand. Damn, it's a lot. That's, yeah, it's a lot of tattoos. So this is a famous. Tattoo well, because okay, maybe or I could be completely off though too. I mean, each one, <sighs> what we're talking, two to six hundred dollars, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So some of them are a thousand. How much was this one? I don't remember. Okay, are, don't you get homie deals like like donation based? No, 
It's never like that. No, and you know I don't expect that from the tattoo artists. It's yeah, they're they make a living too. Yeah, and okay. also you know it's a skill. They're very. I'm like I'll pay whatever you know. Yeah, and then I so so you seek them out then. Yes, and you find them on Instagram or TikTok. Yes, Instagram. And then you DM them. Hey, I like your yeah, art. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh, you have an opening. Let me yeah. come. Are you call the tattoo God, shop and say big bang. so much money. I mean, if you're c- charging three to four hundred dollars a tattoo I and mean, you're tattooing. Does four people a day how, how long do you think it would be good to be a decent tattoo artist depends on the skill level i think it depends on the artist themselves i think some people get better quicker just mm-hmm. if they're you know a more talented mm-hmm. artist but i think to be a really good it's like anything what you put in seven got, ten yeah. years you probably because really i've good. heard horror stories of, as far as like the first year you're an intern and yeah. you, you have to get coffee and take out the ch- you can't yeah. even touch the tattoo yeah gun. you can't do any of that there, it's like kind of like a dojo or something it's like yeah pro- you like you know you they're, they're kind of teaching themselves at home on their own machines yeah or they're practicing on fruit or that something kind of shit yeah, yeah that kind of stuff no i'm just uh, yeah i've always noticed like oh she's got some cool tattoos I and see. then are both your legs covered like which one's that, is that okay love him this is jose he did my face yeah that the, the lettering is dope on he's that he's so dope it's my cat's name pablo yeah he's very dope and that hurt too well what part the shin hurts this right? right here this was horrible this that was the worst was horrible. this is horrible yeah okay. horrible that's cool so that wasn't too hard right i mean as far as yeah we we kind of breezed by the comedy thing. i want to talk did. more about the comedy we can thing. talk more about comedy so when are you so right now are, 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 do you have future show like let's start plug honestly things, right you know? now no because the holidays everything's fucking dead and yeah, felipe so doesn't give me my dates until like a week before he uh, he takes me on the road, so I won't know if I have dates with him for a little while. And how much time do you get to do when you open for Felipe? Fifteen. Yeah, fifteen. So I'm doing fifteen usually on the road with 15. him. Fifteen. Yeah. That's a, that's you've gone pretty far. That I mean that's that, nice. Yeah. That takes a lot of time to get that. I mean, th- this is like proven material that you know works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? To get a strong fifteen. Yeah. How long does that take? I mean, for someone like you, as for, fine comedian. For my here. set now, I mean, my set now is I've been working on for like a year or two. And then you've been workshopping, workshopping, workshop, workshopping. Right. Yeah. yeah, it takes it takes years to like really get shit good. So, what's your goal? What's your end goal in this comedy thing or the art thing? Like, where do you want? It? Where do you see yourself? Like, what's now? That question gives me so much anxiety. I'm sorry, because <laughs> I don't. You know, I but don't. But we'll, we'll make you really happy. We'll make we'll, we'll make you happy. Oh God, I'm making money. But that's not the way. But yeah, to look I think you're, you're. But you're on your. You're already on the way. You're on. You're already doing the right things to get there. I hope so, because right now I have twenty dollars. Oh my god! But okay, so how and my ex's I credit card. <laughs> so buy the art right now on buy, the website. Buy the art. Come to a how show. How much is a piece? Honestly, I mean, people think that you know, you for shirts and shit, I charge like a hundred. Which yeah. is not very much, to be honest. But people don't have a hundred dollars to spend on T-shirts. But I'm like, I can you can you negotiate? I I kind of don't want to go left. It depends on if I have like a if it's a small are, shirt. Yeah, but they're customized. And they're custom. It takes me a lot of time. And you got to think if I'm paying myself minimum wage, which is like what fourteen dollars an hour, and it takes me six hours to work on a piece. Right. It's buy a shirt, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I'm saying. Support. She's an artist, comedian. Yeah. Uh, can we plug all your stuff now? The website again, where they can get your art, the website, your Instagram, which I your don't TikTok. know the name of, but my Instagram, it's it's all on my social media. Gabby Lamby, G A B B Y L A M B Y. That's my Instagram and TikTok handle. I do not have Twitter. Mm-hmm. Fuck neither. that up. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah, so yeah fucking yeah, see yeah, you later yeah, on yeah. that bullshit. Uh, spell out the Gabby Lamby part, like, because it's kind of wordy there. G A B B. Slow, slow. Oh, okay. G. G. A. B. B Y L A M B Y Gabby Lamb. <laughs> so thanks again for tuning in for another episode. That was that was that was easy, right? It's it's done. Yeah, that yeah. was. Uh, why are you saying yeah. it like you were holding me hostage? No. Yeah, it was easy. <laughs> yeah, it was easy. Uh, Patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby if you want to help support the content. And there's a Patreon for Scissor Bros too. We're gonna we're gonna revamp the Patreon for Scissor Bros this 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 new year. Okay, we we're, we're thinking about actually doing a whole separate 
episodes just on Patreon. So take a look there. Go to youtube.com slash scissor bros. Nice. Um, and um, yeah, subscribe. Uh, those videos drop every Friday morning, um, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you want to mail anything, uh, mail your stuff to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A. California 90093. I am working on new music too, so I'm 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 chopping away at that. If you want to le- hear any of the music, it's StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. Um, I think we covered it all, right? Oh, um, the holidays will probably be done by now. I think, yeah, because we're ahead on schedule, dude. Nice. That was it. Was an honor to have you. Part three, dude. dude. For having me back. You're Part always three. welcome, dude. You already dude. know. I want, dude. I, I I can't wait to hear people buying your art and like going to your Look, going to your going art to show, shows, dude. Going to the art show. Yeah, get like near so fair. Listen facts. to my podcast, dude. Yeah. Uh, oh. t- that's a good one. We that's how I make most of my money yeah. right now too. Tea is our Patreon podcast? Tea time with yeah. Harper Rose Drummond. Yeah. When yeah. do those episodes drop? Every Sunday. A Patreon's Wednesday. But yeah, subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Tea. Subscribe on YouTube. Tea time. Tea time. Is it Tea Time podcast or just? Tea it's time? called Tea Time with Gabby Lamb and Harper Rose Drummond. Every Sunday. Love to see it.